Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be evaluating a logarithmic expression in terms of another one. We have log of 24 with base 12 equals x and we are going to evaluate log of 3 with base 2 in terms of x. All right, I'll be presenting three methods. Let's start with the first method. So for the first method, I'm going to use the definition of logarithms. Since we have the base as 12 and the result is x, we can safely say that 12 to the power x equals 24. And now, since we are looking for the log 3 with base 2, it would make sense if you could write everything uh, using bases 2 and 3. So I'm going to break down the 12 into 2 squared times 3 and then write the 24 as 2 to the third power times 3 to the first power. And then go ahead and distribute the x. That's going to give us 2 to the power 2x. If you hear a noise in the background, that's my cat. Equals 2 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 1. Now, I want to put powers of 2 together, so let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to the third power. On the left-hand side, that gives us 2 to the power 2x minus 3, if we go ahead and divide by that. And let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to the power x, bringing the 3 to the power x to the right-hand side. And that's going to give us 3 to the power 1 minus x, since we have 3 to the power 1 on the right-hand side. Great. Now, I was able to get a power of 2 equals a power of 3, uh, which is good. I want to now isolate the 3, sort of. So let's go ahead and um, raise both sides to the power 1 over 1 minus x. In other words, we're going to write this as this to the power 1 over 1 minus x equals 3 to the power 1 minus x to the power 1 over 1 minus x. Of course, we have to make some assumptions here. x does not equal 1, so on and so forth. Uh, but obviously, x does not equal 1 because it's uh, it's not 1. I mean, it's it should be clear, right? Okay, so here, 1 minus x cancels out. And on the left-hand side, we get 2 to the power 2x minus 3 divided by 1 minus x. And on the right-hand side, we get a 3. And now, we can log both sides, or just to use the definition, doesn't really matter what you do, so we can safely say that now log 3 with base 2 becomes 2x minus 3 divided by 1 minus x. So our goal was to find this in terms of x, and we did. So let's go ahead and talk about this second method. The second method involves change of base. Now our expression, the expression we're trying to find, or the expression we're given actually, is equal to x. So we can write that, we can write this as log 24 over log 12. And we know that it's equal to x. Now let's go ahead and um, factor 24 and 12, but our goal is to separate the prime power. So for example, 4 times 6 would not be a good choice. I rather I want to go with 3 times 8 and 3 times 4. And then by using properties of logs, we can just write this as log 3 plus log 8 divided by log 3 plus log 4 equals x. And now log 8 is, since log um, 8 can be written as 2 to the third power, we can now write it as log 3 plus 3 log 2 divided by log 3 plus 2 log 2 because 4 is 2 to the second power equals x. And from here, we're going to cross multiply and, you know, solve for something. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm going to cross multiply. It's going to give me x log 3 plus 2x log 2. Now, I'm going to bring the log 3s together like this and log 2s together like that. So, that's going to give me log 3 minus x log 3 equals 2x log 2 minus 3 log 2. And then factoring out log 3, 
we're going to get 1 minus x and factoring out log 2 we're going to get 2x minus 3 and now dividing um, both sides by log 2 and by 1 minus x we're going to get log 3 over log 2 equals 2x minus 3 over 1 minus x but this is from change of base if you work backwards with the change of base this is equivalent to log 3 with base 2 and that gives us the answer great let's go ahead and talk about the third method now which is going to be our final method alrighty now with the third method we are remember we're given this right and we're trying to find this in terms of x right and we did with two methods with the first method I want to set this equal to something right and then I'll work with uh, that to find x or whatever so I'll turn this into something in terms of x in other words so log 3 with base 2 let's set it equal to y and don't ask why from here we can safely use the definition of logarithms one more time did I say before uh, that uh, the definition is super important so this allows us to write it as 2 to the power y equals 3 great so that's something we can actually use in our original expression but I'd like to use the change of base one more time because it's so powerful so let's go ahead and write this as log 24 over log 12 and now similarly uh, we're going to factor 24 and 12 so we can just write the 24 as 3 times 2 to the third power and we can write the 12 I mean 24 as that and 3 uh, 12 as 3 times 2 to the second power now here's what I'd like to do differently here I'm not gonna uh, separate them uh, like I did before uh, I would like to use this identity here 2 to the power y equals 3 so why don't we replace 3 with 2 to the power y let's do it that's gonna give us 2 to the power y times 2 to the power 3 and this is gonna give us 2 to the power y times 2 to the second and now we can add the exponents because that's what the rule says and here that's 2 to the power y plus 2 and now we can use the power property so bring these to the front right and that's going to give us y plus 3 times log 2 divided by y plus 2 times log 2 now obviously log 2 can be cancelled out leaving us with something in terms of y but remember this expression was equal to x right that's what's given so let's go ahead and set this equal to x and our goal is to solve for y so how do we solve for y that's the million dollar question right and the answer is fairly easy we cross multiply first y plus 2 multiplied by x that's going to give us yx plus 2x and since I'm trying to solve for y I would like to put the y terms together y minus yx equals 2x minus 3 and then factor out y you get 1 minus x and hopefully this becomes more clear we're trying to solve for y so let's go ahead and write the y as 2x minus 3 divided by 1 minus x obviously x equals 1 is not in the domain but you know x is does not equal 1 we already know that okay so our goal was to solve for y but what is y y is what we're trying to find log 3 with base 2 right this is what we called y and we got the answer so log 3 with base 2 is equal to 2x minus 3 divided by 1 minus x and that's what we were trying to find in terms of x and this brings us to the end of this video uh, thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye